Here we go with the first TRX circuit. So TRX circuits, you're going to do 40 seconds worth of an exercise with a 20 seconds breather. There's 15 exercises and you're going to go around twice. So the first one is this single leg squat. We're going to go off the left leg first. So that's going to be mid length and standing facing. Next up, we have a chest press, just a good old fashioned chest press. That's going to be fully lengthened, standing facing away from the anchor point. You're going to lock the strong plank position in, lower the chest down in between the handles and then drive on up from there. So that's a good sol solid chest press. From there, you're into hamstring curls. Now with this one, I want the hips down preferably. So you're going to go mid calf length, ground facing the anchor point, heels in. Start with the legs extended, obviously. Then you're going to draw the knees in towards the chest and then drive those heels away, like in a squat pattern, pushing them away. And that is your uh, hamstring curl. Next up after that, you're going to go for high rows. That's going to be fully shortened, standing facing the anchor point. Elbows are going to be shoulder height with this one to start, so you know where you're going to end up. Then from there, you can let the arms lengthen as you relax back and down. And then you'll pull. Nice squeeze between the shoulder blades, keeping the elbows high. Next up after those, good old-fashioned star jumps. So just landing light with ease. Nice big arm sweep, taking the feet out to the side. Keeping the breathing relaxed as you go through these. If you have any impact issues, then you can just step out to the left and the right. You don't have to actually make this explosive. Then, obviously, we've hit the left leg, so we've got to hit the right leg, right? Otherwise, you'll be lopsided. So it'll be a single leg squat off your right leg and your right leg only. Next up after these is going to be what we call a Y row. So the Y row is going to be mid length, standing facing the anchor point. You're going to start with the arms up and out in a nice high Y position. From there, you're going to relax back and down. The hands will naturally come together, and then you rip those handles back open into that Y position. Be careful on these as you get tired, the arms all tend to creep down into a T position. Next up after those, we've got a hip press. They're going to be mid calf length, ground facing the anchor point. You're going to draw the knees in, just like you would do on a hamstring curl. Get your thighs nice and vertical. And then you're going to drive your hips up towards the ceiling, squeezing your bum cheeks. And then bring the hips back down. But what you're not going to do is let the legs extend with that one. Next up after those is the bicep curl. Well, that's going to be mid-length, standing facing the anchor point. Palms are going to start, or the fists are going to start up by your eyebrows, so up by your temples. Then you're going to slowly relax back, and the arms will lengthen. And then from there, you'll bicep curl up and in. Once you've done those, you've got mountain climbers, aka alternating squat thrusts. So good strong plank position. Now, should you have any problems through the wrist or if these just give you grief, then all you need to do from here is just stand on up and jog on the spot. It's the same movement, right? The legs are still alternating, just bring their knees up left and right. Next up after those is the uh, hip abduction or abducted lunge. So from there, you're going to go mid-calf length, stand side onto the anchor point, placing a foot in, and basically kind of side kicking out. Uh, and that's your abducted lunge. Next up after those is a push-up with your feet in. Now, if you want to, then you can do the push-up on the ground, just normal bodyweight push-up. If you need to regress that, well, it's another set of chest press, okay? But otherwise, it's your push-up with your feet in. Once you've done those, well, you'll be back into a abducted lunge off the opposite side. So again, I'll talk you through the legs and give you the positionings and stuff, but this is going to be another abducted lunge with the foot in the cradle. There is a, a way to do this. At basically, if this is too much testing your balance, you can go mid-length and hold the handles. But I'll talk you through that when we get to it. Next up after these is what we call the preacher curl. So the preacher curl, you can leave it at mid-calf length after those abducted lunges. You're going to kneel on down. And then what you're going to do from there is you're going to drop the elbows down towards the ground. Your head is going to slot in between the hands. And then the only way back up is you physically crushing those handles down towards the ground to extend those arms out and work those triceps. Next up after those, final cardio drill on this is your corner touch. So you're going to shimmy left and right. Imagine you're touching down an imaginary corner. Depending on how big your room is, you might have a corner, unless you're outside. Um, 
So yeah, just crack on with these. It's side shuffles, basically, touching on down. Right, you've got 20 seconds to get ready for your first exercise, which is going to be a single leg squat on your left leg. So we're going to go mid-length, standing face in the anchor point. Start with the elbows underneath your shoulders. Ramrod straight. If you need to, you can have your right heel down for this. And slowly but surely, you're going to descend on down. Left knee is going to track forward as the hip comes back. Ready? And away you go. It's your first 40 seconds on this. So take your time. No need to rush this. Trust me, you've got half an hour to get through now. So smooth and steady. Single leg squat, left leg only. If you've got the ability to, you can lift the right leg completely. However, if it starts to break down or the form isn't correct, just put your right heel on the ground and use that for stability. All right, so you've got four more seconds. You've got a 20 seconds breather coming up. Then we're going to be going into chest presses. Okay, relax there. So from where you are now, take your suspension trainer to fully lengthened. Stand facing away from the anchor point. Start with the arms extended. Get your body long and strong. Find your appropriate like angle on this. And in four seconds, you're going to slowly bend the elbows. Hips and chest are going to move forward as one. All right, and away you go. 40 seconds, TRX chest press. Now you can move the feet further forwards to make this easier or move them backwards to make them harder. However, if you start increasing the depth and the bum starts to kick back, okay, you start breaking in the hips, that's no good. You've got to tighten up the whole of the body. It's going to move like a surfboard. All right, five more seconds on these. We've got hamstring curls coming up next, guys. And relax there. So from where you are now, take your suspension trainer to mid-calf length. So get those rubber handles in line with the bottoms of your kneecaps. Now park your ass on the ground. So get yourself down. Place both heels into the foot cradles at the same time. All right, you're going to push the heels down slightly to cinch the feet into the cradles. And now off you go. Under control, draw your knees in towards your chest and then extend the legs out. If you haven't done this before or you're not used to it, it's going to feel as if it's going to pull your trainers off or your feet are going to fall out. It won't pull the trainers off, but your feet might fall out if you're not applying it, uh, enough pressure through those heels. So drive the heels down slightly. Now the common tendency is for the feet to be together. That's fine. It's totally not a problem. But if you want to make it a little bit harder, what you can do is you can separate the knees and feet. So it's almost like a, a squat pattern. So you've got some distance between those. Three more seconds on this. We've got high rows coming up next. Okay, 20 seconds breather. High rows are up next. Take your suspension trainer to fully shortened. Stand facing the anchor point. Get your elbows up nice and high. So elbows in line with shoulders. You're going to slowly relax back and let the arms lengthen. And then you're going to roll yourself back up and in. Get ready, 40 seconds, start now. So off you go. Body stays in that plank position. So imagine, I'm going to come behind you, you might have heard this coaching cue before, and I'm going to put a orange in between your shoulder blades. On the way up, you need to squeeze that orange and juice that orange on the way up for this high row. Keep these elbows shoulder height for me. You're going to keep the chin up off the chest. One of the tendencies is to start to look down to the ground, round that upper back. So keep your eyes on the anchor point until now. And relax there. Right, find yourself a little bit of space. Make sure you're not going to smack your arms into the wall next to you. Or if you're outside, a, uh, a fellow pedestrian, we don't want your chin in the person next to you. You've got six seconds before your star jumps kick in. Remember, if this is going to be too impact for you, then just literally step out to the left and right. Go, give me 40 seconds of star jumps. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Landing light and sweeping the arms. Keep the breathing relaxed on this one. Don't be afraid to throw some pace in there as well. All right, you're well over halfway on these. What's up next? Single leg squats are up next, just to give the heads up.
All right, five seconds. You at least get a 20 seconds breather after this, right? And relax. Awesome. So we've already nailed the left leg. Now you've got to nail the right. So let's go back to the mid, uh, mid length. Stand facing the anchor point. Start with your elbows underneath the shoulders. You want to start so ramrod straight there. If you were to let go of the suspension trainer, you're not going to fall forwards or backwards, right? You need to be balanced to start this. All right, now away you go. Now imagine you're in a, a huge tube of Pringles. Mmm, Pringles. So you're in a huge tube of Pringles, and what you've got to do is you've got to move up and down in that tube. If you start to lean too far forward, you're going to bang your head into the tube. If you sink back and down and turn this into like a row type pattern, you're going to bang your ass into the tube behind you. So you've literally got to move straight up and straight down. All right, 10 seconds left on this one. And relax there. Cool. That's another 40 seconds boxed off. Y rows are up next. So the Y row is going to be mid length. Stand facing the anchor point. Start with the hands in the air like you just don't care. So out in a nice Y position. Now, while we're in that Y position, imagine I've come round and put a plaster cast on your arms. Not allowed to bend your elbows. Right, here we go. Slowly under control. Relax back. Let the hands come together. Now under control, rip the handles open like you're really annoyed with them, right? So you're gripping them and ripping them. Right, halfway through on these Y rows. Now, if you're getting these, you should be getting a nice squeeze between the shoulder blades again. Something that we reiterated on the high rows. Now, no breaking at the hips. You better be squeezing your butt cheeks all the way through this. If I find out you've been breaking in the hips, I'll be right round there. And relax. Right, it's hip press up next. Now we can break at the hips. So the hip press is mid-calf length, ground facing the anchor point. Pop your heels in. Draw your knees in so your thighs are nice and vertical. You've got seven seconds to prep. And then from there, you're going to drive your hips up towards the ceiling. Squeeze your butt cheeks at the top. And then come back on down. Ready? And away you go. Now... If this gets too hard or you really struggle with this, take your feet out. Just put your heels on the ground and do a hip press with your heels on the ground. Just because the suspension train is there doesn't mean you have to use it all the time. Use it most of the time, like. <laughs> Just don't use it all the time. 20 seconds, you're halfway through. Sometimes, as we say, you've got to earn your progression to step these exercises up. 10 seconds. Last seven. All right. Bicep curls are coming up next. So, bicep curls. They're going to be mid-length. Stand facing your anchor point. Great stuff. Right. Start off with your fists up by your temples or up by your eyebrows. Right. Then, from there, you can slowly relax back. And then bring those biceps. Or bring, sorry. Bring the fists up back up to the temples. Squeezing the biceps. Right. Let's go. Now, with this one, the uh, changing of the feet can make the biggest of difference. Smooth and steady with these. Again, if you're looking at the demo, don't worry if you're not, but if you're looking at the demo, there's no movement through the hips. So don't try and kind of initiate this with a cheeky hip thrust. Elbows are staying high all the way through. Don't let those elbows drop down now. Basics out. 15 seconds. Right, you got three more seconds here. Then we're going into alternating mount, uh, alternate mountain climbers. Or I should say, mountain climbers or alternating squat thrusts. Okay. I don't know how you could do an alternating mountain climber. Anyway. Right, so you've got seven seconds. Get yourself into a push-up position. Going to draw the legs in, alternating the legs. Bridge, just bring the knees up hip height. All right, and away you go. Like I said, on the warm-up, if you need to swap this out, should you have any wrist issues, just come up and jog on the spot for me, guys. Otherwise, let's go. You're already 10 seconds in. Halfway, 20 seconds. Come on, don't let it die off. This is round one for crying out loud. And relax. 
relax there. All right, well done. Great stuff. So abducted lunges. So we're going to go mid calf length. Let's stand on your. Ah, let's do it as the demo. Standing on your right leg, place your left leg in. From that position here, you're going to side kick out to the side. So start with the knee nice and high. And then imagine somebody's next to you, you're going to kick out to the side. Ready? And away you go. It's almost like it's slotted in between two panes of glass. Now, if you need to get a broom handle and um, hold on to a broom handle, stick the broom into the ground. Use that for balance and stability. You could be uh, next to a wall and place your hands on the wall. If you're really struggling with this, take your foot out. Don't go injuring yourself. Take your foot out, take it to mid-length, and do a side lunge instead of actually holding the handles. You have 13 seconds. All right, last 10 on this right leg. Next up after this is going to be press-ups, so you can leave it at mid-calf length. And relax. Right, so push-ups, that's going to be mid-calf length. Ground facing away. Set your strong push-up position in, so heels into handles. Elbows are going to be pointing backwards in like an arrow position rather than out to the side for a T. You've got four more seconds. If you need to regress it, do a normal push-up. If you need to regress it, do a chest press. Off you go. You've got 40 seconds. Find your appropriate level. All right, 20 seconds, halfway through. If it starts to break down, falter or fail. If you're doing the full push-up, take your feet out. If you're doing the push-up on the ground, go to the chest press. But try and keep working for the whole 40 seconds. We're going to be back into the abducted lunges, standing on your left leg. And relax. So, leave it at mid-calf length if you've just done those push-ups. Now you're standing on your left leg. Now you're popping your right foot in and you're going to side kick out to the side. So you're standing on the left and you're going to side kick out to the side. Imagine there's a brick wall in front of you and there's one behind you. It's a very narrow alleyway. So you've got to side kick through that gap in the alleyway. Off you go. Again, if it gets too much, take it to mid length. Grab the handle, stand facing the anchor point and just side step out to the side. Next up after these, you've got over 20 seconds, well, under 20 seconds left, I should say. Sorry. You've got preacher curls coming up next. They're going to be a mid-calf length. Last five seconds on these. Preacher curls up next. All right, I'm relaxed there. So leave it at mid-calf length. You're going to be kneeling down, facing the anchor point. Hands on the handles. From this position here, you're going to bend the elbows. They're going to drop down towards the ground. Don't let them flare out to the side. You're going to slot your head in between your fists, like you do on the bicep curl. And then you're going to crush those handles out in front of you. Okay, and away you go. You're going to try and push those handles down into the ground. Now, if this gets too much, start moving forward so more of the anchor point is behind you. So more of your torso is taller. And that will help out ease yourself into these i'm obviously demoing the harder level because this is the full preacher curl but if you need to make it easier then get your more your body more upright by moving further forwards on the knees nine seconds left we're into the corner touch next make sure you got a nice bit of clear training space and relax all right here we go Right, six seconds on this. Three more seconds. Stand by. And away you go. So moving left and right on these. Great stuff. Touching down, shimmy across, touching down. Depending on how big your room is. If you haven't got much room and you need to jog on the spot again or hit up some more star jumps, no worries. If you have got the space, Move left and right. Don't stand on your own feet and don't cross the legs. Think of the Ghostbusters. Don't cross the streams. Ten seconds. Last five seconds. 
And relax. Well done. There you go. No dramas. You're already halfway through. 15 down and 15 to go, team. Right. You got 12 seconds. Single leg squat standing on your left leg. Let's get you ready to go. Three seconds. So mid length stand facing. And away you go. Remember, you're popping up and down in that tube for me. You're standing on the left leg. The right heel can go down or the right leg can be lifted. Entirely up to you. Three, two, one, and relax there. Way to go. Back into the chest press. Here we go. Now we're well and truly warmed up, so there's uh, there's no excuses for being um, lackadaisy on this, is it? Come on. Eight seconds. Let's go. Fully lengthened. Stand facing away from the anchor point. Lock that strong, long surfboard position in. Ready? And away you go. Let's bend the elbows. Hips and chest move forward as one, and then drive out nice and powerful through those handles. Make sure those straps don't rub on the arms now. And there's 10 seconds already in. All right, 10 seconds left on this one. Smooth and steady. Don't forget about the thighs and the ass on this, even though it's a chest. And relax. Right. Back into the hamstring curls on this one. Again, hips down. Now, obviously, if you've been training for a while and you want to try with the hips up, if you're a bit of a TRX expert, that's not a problem. So we're going to go mid-calf length, ground facing the anchor point. Drop your heels in. I'm going to slowly draw the knees in and then extend the legs out. Off you go. 40 seconds. Smooth and steady. No need to rush these. Definitely going to light up the hamstrings on these. Again, feet shoulder width apart. It's going to make it a little bit harder for you. But if you want to put the feet together, that's no problems. You can still keep the hips on the ground and slide further backwards. That's going to make it a little bit more difficult. And relax there. Well done. All right. Here we go. So good, strong, high rows. That's going to be fully shortened. Standing facing the anchor point. Elbows in line with shoulders now. Chin up off chest. Five seconds. And away you go. There you go, 10 seconds already in, no problems. Halfway, 20 seconds gone on these high rows. Hope you're keeping that chin up off the chest. Imagine there's an egg underneath your chin. If you drop the chin too much, you're going to crack that egg and have all the yolk down your front. But however, if you lift that chin too much, well, you're going to drop the egg all over the floor. No good. Three seconds. And relax. Right, here we go. Let's nail these star jumps. And once you've nailed them, well, that's 20 exercises in, only 10 left to pay in. So you've paid 20 exercises into the bank of boomage. You've only got to bank another 10. Three seconds for these star jumps kick in. No, ready? And away you go. Light them up. Get some air underneath those feet. Get those arms a sweeping. There's 10 seconds gone already. Halfway, 20 seconds. Now we can start really picking it up, and we've got single leg squats coming up after this. Two. 
one and relax right get yourself ready back into those single leg squats we're going off the right leg this time the right leg so back to the mid length remember i said about finding your balance on this you shouldn't be you know depending on those straps to row yourself back up and in so the right leg's down the left heel can be down so we assist you out and away you go or lift the left foot completely Ten seconds already gone. Nice, smooth, steady, single leg squats. We'll bring to the Y rows up after this. But for now, let's just concentrate on these. What are we moving up and down in? A tube. That's right. Almost like guttering. Last couple of seconds. And relax. Well done. All right. Y rows. Mid length. Stand facing the anchor point. Start with the arms out. Remember, you might need to move the feet. Hands in the air like you just don't care. And away you go. So let's go. Slowly relax back. Let the hands come together naturally. Rip those handles open. Now, if you need to, you can do an offset foot stance. What the hell does that mean? It means put one foot in front of the other. Not massively, but what you can then do is you can drive off the back leg and rip open the handles. It's almost like a, a self-check point with this. All right, you've got 10 seconds left. and relax there in those y rows it's the hip press so mid calf length ground facing the anchor point drop your heels in draw the knees in so your thighs are nice and vertical remember just because it's there if you found this gives you too much grief put your uh, heels on the ground instead and away you go so you're going to drive up squeeze at the top come back on down now, if you're not sure if your glutes are working, you know your hands, they're not really doing anything, are they? So uh, grab your own ass, right? Grab your butt cheeks, and as you push your hips up, can you feel those bum cheeks squeezing, right? Gives you a bit of feedback through your own uh, fingertips and stuff, where the muscles are, what muscles should be squeezing, and how it should feel. Five seconds on this, bicep curls are up next. And relax there. Right, have a well-earned 20 seconds breather to stand yourself up. Take your suspension trainer to mid-length. Stand facing the anchor point. Get those fists up. Elbows are pointing forwards on this. Elbows pointing forwards. Right, 40 seconds of bicep curls. And away you go. Smooth and steady. Relax on back. Let the arms lengthen. Bicep curl back up and in. Keep the elbows nice and high. Keep the tension on the straps all the way through. What I don't want is a really powerful bicep curl and the straps go in slack and then you kind of jolt back. You want to keep tension on those straps all the way through. You've got 15 seconds left. Last eight. And relax there, outstanding. You're into your uh, alternating squat thrust or your mountain climbers, guys. Take yourself down. Now, what was I was saying, see how quick this goes? Get down into this position. Once you've nailed 40 seconds of these, that's 25 exercises boxed off. Only five left to pay in. 25 done, five left. Ready? Let's go. Here we go. 40 seconds now. Good, solid alternating squat thrusts. There you go, you're already halfway through, 20 seconds left. Last 10 seconds, come on. Pick the pace up for the final five, let's go. Draw those knees in and out, keep the breathing relaxed. 
<laughs> and relax. Well done. You got abducted lunges. Remember, if you're more tired now, take it to mid length, stand facing, start with the elbows underneath the shoulders, and sidestep out to your left and right. Here we go. But otherwise, we're going to stand on the right leg. So it's going to be mid calf length. Stand on your right leg. Pop your left foot in, and we're going to side kick out to the left. Ready? <gasps> Off you go. This is certainly one of those ones. One. You want to take it nice and controlled because you don't want to be side lunging out from a position you can't get back up from. There you go. You're already halfway through with 20 seconds left. Remember I said about using that broom if you need extra stability. Last 10 seconds. Three more seconds on this. And relax there. Well done. Awesome. All right. Get yourself ready for the push-ups. These are going to be mid-calf length. Feet in. Ground facing away from the anchor point. Strong push-up position. Elbows pointing backwards. All right. And away you go. Twenty five seconds on these. Eighteen seconds. All right, last fifteen. Ten seconds. You got this. Come on. Remember, you can take the feet out if it's too much. Keep moving, though, for the whole forty seconds. Last little blast. Another push up. And relax. Well done. Back into your abducted lunges. All right, seven seconds on these. And away you go. So now you're standing on your left leg, I hope. Standing on your left and your right foot's in. And away you go. Side kicking out to the right. So if you were on a clock face now, 12 o'clock would be right in front of you. And you're side kicking out. Because you're standing on the left side, kicking out to the right. So that's going to be kicking out to the 3 o'clock, isn't it? Looking at the 12, kicking out to the 3. If your foot's going to the 2 or the 4, it's going the wrong way. Six more seconds on this. Preacher curls are up next. Oh, my God, only two more drills left. And relax. So, mid-calf length. If it isn't already, you might have done those side steps at uh, mid-length. So let's go mid-calf length. Grab the handles. Kneeling facing the anchor point. All right, you got five seconds. And away you go. So smooth and steady. You're going to drop the elbows forward now. Head's going to slot in between the handles. And then you're going to crush them out in front of you. Keep the breathing relaxed with this one. Now, I'm all about the alleyways today. So, if... Um, if you're in a very small alleyway, surprise, surprise, your elbows wouldn't be able to wing out to the side. Otherwise, you'd scrape your elbows on the wall. So keep your elbows pointing down so they don't bang into the imaginary walls either side of you. You only have nine seconds left, and then you're going to finish strong with those corner touches. Absolutely blast through these. And relax. Well done. You've got 20 seconds to prep, so make sure you've got a good, clear training space. Right, six seconds. Stand by. 40 seconds. All of your corner touch. And away you go. Stepping left and right. Touch down, move over. Like a crazy space invader, this. If you're as old and as bald as me, you might remember what Space Invaders was. All right, 15 seconds. Let's go. Touch and go. Touch and go. Touch and go. Drive off the feet. Right, with a couple of seconds left, I just want to say thank you so much for jumping into circuits today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.